Hello everybody, this is Abby Normal. Welcome to Mermaid Splash Fashion Festival. Another game I found with the LGBT uh, tag on itch.io and it's a game as you can see made by Dark Chibi Shadow and Nom Nom Nami because yes of course why not it looks good I love it I'm hoping it's CC but let's start this game I'm hoping to help CC on her quest to do what she does best in life deep underwater in a cute little fish town there lives a mermaid named CC wait 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 there you go done and maybe, maybe, maybe that's just, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. It's on. Um, lives a mermaid named Cece. <gasps> hey y'all, I'm Cece. In Cece's town, they hold a tradition called the Passion Festival. The Passion Festival is a place where every male person can showcase their talents. And they oh, my game crashed. It was weird. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm back. I'm back now. Okay. I think what I'm also going to do is... I'm sure- oh wait, we said it. Um, okay, yeah, my game crashed, so that was awkward. Okay, let's try again. The Passion Festival is a place where every male person can showcase their talents and express their heart's true passion. There are contests and showcases, music and food galore. It is everything a mermaid could ever wish for. Cece has always dreamed of entering the Passion Festival. <gasps> but... This last little mermaid has never quite been able to choose her own path in life, despite her many interests. That's not for lack of trying or nothing. There's just too many things I love doing. That's fine. Everyone, Everyone's always telling people you need to choose one path or do one thing, but a lot of people, you don't have to do that. A lot of people want to do many things. <laughs> and I've been doing them all for at least a little while now. I'm super attached to all my hobbies. Yeah. There you go. Wait. Oh, uh, is this supposed to- is that the voice volume? Ah, uh, okay, there you go, there you go. Okay, so sound a little bit, but voice down. Ah, uh, even, even so, it's about time she made a decision. There we go, that's better. And with the Passion Festival coming up, now, now's her chance. Heck yeah, I'm gonna get my tail fitting gear. Should I try to be an artist like my friend Angie? Oh, hey Angie. Hey, it'll be fun to draw together. Come to art club again sometime. Or maybe I could hone my dance skills like Delora. Join us in the dance class, huh? We'd all love to see you more. I bet you would. Hmm, but Mac is always saying I've got a green fin. I'd really like to try gardening more too. Come on out and play some new stuff with me, neighbor. It's real rewarding, you'll see. And then there's Bea. She said she'd teach me new fighting techniques. <gasps> that sounds so cool. <sighs> That's right, come chain with me at the dojo. Realize your full potential, Cece. Aw, oh, man, see what I mean? How am I supposed to pick a direction when all of them would be so awesome to do? I mean, you could try doing more. If you've got the time, you could. But now there's a reason to choose something. The Passion Festival. Yeah, I want to really get good at something and show off what I can do. There's one whole month before the Passion Festival. That's plenty of time to finally start focusing. I just have to buckle down and start practicing. And that starts with setting a schedule. <laughs> Tutorial, choose your schedule. Oh, there's me. To begin preparing for the Passion Festival, pick one of CC's four passions or take a week off to relax by staying home. Cece only has four weeks to prepare for one of the contests, so you'd better get started. As long as I stay focused, I'm sure I can win. Let's work hard. You look like... You look like a can... You look like an ice cream cone, and I, I, I want to eat your hair. What should I do this week? Okay, I think... We should take the first one, and I think we should try Art Club. Yeah, let's try Art Club. Uh-oh, I should have saved. Oh, I should have saved! What's wrong with me? Oh well, I'll save it here. No, don't save it. Save it there. Okay. I don't know. I'll go to the art club with Angie this week. Cece enters the familiar club room filled with determination. What is this, London Tale? Cece is serious about making her art her true passion. Oh, hey Cece. I didn't expect you to show up today. Andy, I'm preparing for, fashion, for the fa passion for the, I got my P and my F mixed up for the passion festival. 
I miss that fashion festival. I wanted to really buckle down and study art again, or at least have fun drawing like we used to. Wow, that sounds great. Happy to hear it. <laughs> what were you thinking of making for the festival? Oh, uh, I hadn't thought that far ahead. <laughs> Same old CC. Maybe I can help you figure it out. Oh, that'd be awesome. What's the best way to show off my passion for art? Just strip down naked and throw your body in paint and then roll around some paper. Uh, you know what? It'll sell. There, did you guys, okay, going off the topic, did you guys know there's actually a woman in, I believe it's America, who paints with her boobies and she'll sell art for like thousands of dollars. She's lit. I have seen this woman. No, not in person. I have seen her on a show where she painted her boobies with yellow and black stripes, put it on paper, and then paint them. She literally made a painting of boobies, and that happened. She made it bees out of her boobies. Get it? No, oh, it was so good. Ah. I mean, uh, I, I mean it's unique, but I like it. Huh? You should pick like something you like doing. <laughs> I'm making a shirt comic. Oh, that's exciting! Um, painting's always been fun for me. I guess I should go with that. If you want, I'll be happy to see whatever you make, Cece. Oh, come on. I'm way more pumped up to see your comic, Angie. Heh, <sighs> thanks. Want to see some of the sketches for it? Yeah, sure. Heck yeah! Cece and Angie spend the rest of the day talking together about all sorts of fun ideas. Angie's genuine passion for art inspires Cece to no end. Oh, ooh, ooh, I like it. For the rest of the week, Cece sketches and plans out ideas for her big painting. She doesn't even dare to touch her canvas until she feels, until she feels she has the right idea for it. Yikes! I didn't expect to be feeling the pressure this immediately. <laughs> Cece already feels overwhelmed by trying to make a huge painting. Perhaps, seeing how nervous Cece is, her art teacher approaches her. Ooh. Cece explains the situation and her teacher is very encouraging. They assure Cece that even if it's a bit stressful sorting through so many ideas, it will be worth it. They give Cece a long, well-articulated speech about deciding between ideas. It takes up a lot of time, but Cece doesn't mind. Her teacher always has so much good stuff to say. Eventually, they leave Cece to her own devices after wishing her luck. Thank you so much. I'll do my best. The talk helps Cece realise all big things start with one small step. I nearly burped. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Even so, the week passes Cece by without her officially starting on her painting. On the day she feels like giving up, she keeps her goal in mind and pushes through with a passionate determination. It's important that I'm happy with my idea above anything else. That's actually good advice. Angie helps give Cece notes and the teacher gives helpful pointers too. Cece feels lucky to have a friend as good as Angie helping her work through aww, her tough first week. By the end of the week, Cece has piles and piles of sketches and ideas. Even with all that work, she still doesn't feel like she had made much progress at all, but it was fun anyway. Cece is looking forward to having fun with art next week too. Passion event! Oh, Cece gives us Percy Buddy Coconut a little pet. No, look at it. It's a sea bunny. There's a bun bun. Oh, Coconut, you're my one only true passion. No one's cuter than you. Oh, it's so cute. Looks like a furry sea cucumber. Tutorial. It's the weekend. Now it's Cece's chance to hang out with the friends and develop closer relationships. Who knows? It could bloom into a beautiful romance. Oh, um, we'll see. I do like all of my friends, but no one's ever liked me before. <laughs> no pressure, Cece. Just hang out and have fun. Yeah, I can think about that stuff later. It's time to take a nice little break until Monday rolls back around. What if any of my friends are free for the weekend? Hang on. Was it was, was the save? It was the save? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Save that. There we go. There we go. Let's hang out with Angie. Cece meets up with Angie at the usual hangout destination, the art studio. Angie apparently had something she wanted to show Cece. <gasps> she lightly holds a stack of papers to her chest, playfully hiding what's on them. Is it your comic? <gasps> so what I'm holding 
I have the thumbnails to a new story I thought of recently. <gasps> oh, I'm listening. I mean, I'm listening. <laughs> it's only chapter one, but you want to be the first to read it? I would be honored. Yes, yes. Cece reads through Angie's messily drawn thumbnails. She's gotten used to seeing Angie's art in this state. The dialogue is written even more hastily than normal, as if Angie's brain was working five panels ahead of her drawing hand. Her story seemed to be the start of something huge and sprawling, similar to a lot of the starts Cece had read from her before. But wasn't she always reading only the start to a huge and sprawling idea like this? The Pearl in the Abyss is going to be my magnum opus. <laughs> I can like already feel it. Yeah, it's, it's neat. Your new ideas always have a strong first chapter. Ah, thanks. I was planning on officially starting on it after the Passion Festival. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can finish my short story before the deadline. And it's like been nice to have a plan for my next big thing. <coughs> um, speaking of big things, whatever happened to Finship? Is that on hiatus? Oh, yeah. I haven't had the inspiration for the next chapter, so that happens. That, uh, that happens a lot. I really like that one. Well, this is going to have some recycled ideas from it, so like, it's going to live on in a better form. Oh. What? You, you don't look excited. What's wrong? Oh, I, I was just thinking. This kind of happens a lot, doesn't it? You're not into my new characters, are you? Oh no, Andy! I love all your new characters. It's just sad that your old stuff always gets abandoned before the end. Oh no! Well, sure, but I, I can't help it if I like a better, more exciting idea to work on. I, I mean... You have to actually finish one of your big stories if you really want to become an anime someday. Wow. Okay. Didn't know you had so little faith in me. No, Auntie, no! I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. I'm going to work on this at home. See ya. Angie, no! No, I messed up! It's me! Play me! Don't take this away from Cece! Angie... Cece felt awful. I felt awful! But shouldn't friends be honest with each other? Cece had always thought that they should. I mean, she had a point. I think maybe Angie took it the wrong way. <laughs> My voice is getting ever so high. I'm trying to, just trying to be like, no, it wasn't me. Push the blame on someone else. She regret regretted not being able to tell Angie what she thought in a way that wouldn't hurt her. Oh, you're so sensitive. At least let me apologise before swimming off. Cece was sure things would go back to normal by next weekend. Best to give her space for now. Friend event! Cece goes to the grocery store to pick up some essentials. Ah, she's adorable! I wonder if they have any cute pet toys. I want to bring something home for coconut. Oh no! Fuck it, Cece, you're here for food! But shopping normally is so boring that Cece ends up in the pet aisle anyway. I mean, if you're shopping for food for yourself, you might as well get something for your pet. Just saying. The week is over. Three weeks until the Passion Festival. Tutorial. Customize Cece's look. Oh, no! Did you know you can change your outfit on the progress screen? Check to see what you have locked with a right click or escape. Can I? Hoodie. Ah! I get eight outfits. This is adorable. I love it. Okay. You get, no, wait. I don't know if I like basic. Or, no, I don't. It's too fast. No, hoodie, hoodie's nice and relaxed. I like it. <gasps> oh, this is so cute. What Cece wears doesn't affect the story, but it should, sure is fun to dress up. It is. It's fun. Monday I'm ready, which means I gotta get back to being productive. What should I do this week? Um, this is where we save it. And this is where I'm going to end the first part because there's another four weeks until the festival. And I'll see you at the end of... What? The third week? Yeah. No, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the art club. Uh, I wonder if going to the art club and not being with Angie would mean that I give her some space to herself so she's like cool. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!